Have you ever wondered why planes don't have parachutes for passengers but have life jackets? If these questions ever bothered your mind, then you're on the right YouTube channel. We will explain that in today's video. The idea of equipping commercial airplanes with parachutes for every passenger seems like a practical safety measure at first glance. After all, if a plane encounters an emergency, wouldn't it make sense for passengers to have the option to jump out and parachute to safety? However, the absence of parachutes on commercial airliners is not due to negligence or oversight. In reality, there are several practical, technical, and safety reasons why planes don't have parachutes for passengers. Buckle up, let's dive into this subject. Are you still new in Aviation Info YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe for more aviation videos. One of the most significant reasons parachutes are not provided on commercial airplanes is the extreme conditions at which these planes fly. Commercial jets typically cruise at altitudes between 30,000 and 40,000 feet and their speeds can range from 500 to 600 miles per hour. At these altitudes and speeds, jumping out of the plane with a parachute would be extremely dangerous. Lack of oxygen. At cruising altitude, the atmosphere has very little oxygen. Without specialized oxygen equipment, passengers would quickly lose consciousness due to hypoxia. A parachute would be of little use if the person using it cannot remain conscious long enough to deploy it. Extreme temperatures. Temperatures at 35,000 feet can be as low as minus 51 degrees Celsius. Such freezing conditions would pose a severe risk of hypothermia or frostbite, making survival highly unlikely. Air pressure and decompression. At high altitudes, rapid decompression and the thin atmosphere can cause severe bodily harm. Even if a passenger could successfully exit the aircraft, the drastic changes in air pressure could cause serious injury or death. Given these extreme environmental conditions, the probability of survival when jumping from a commercial airplane at cruising altitude is incredibly low, even with a parachute. Using a parachute effectively requires substantial training and experience. Parachuting isn't simply a matter of strapping on a parachute and jumping out of the plane. It requires knowledge of how to properly deploy the parachute, control your descent, and land safely. Our face on that is cis esis and thake papis isiches. Without this training, passengers could injure themselves or others during an emergency evacuation. In addition, Panic is a natural human response in life-threatening situations. Even trained skydivers face difficulties in high-stress conditions, so asking untrained passengers to safely parachute out of a moving aircraft would be chaotic and potentially fatal. Without proper training, the parachutes could become tangled, passengers could lose control during the descent, or fail to deploy their parachutes altogether. Most in-flight emergencies do not provide the time, altitude, or situation where parachutes would be effective. Emergencies like engine failure, turbulence, or even cabin depressurization often occur very quickly with little warning or preparation time. The majority of aviation incidents that lead to crashes happen during takeoff and landing, when planes are too close to the ground for parachuting to be a viable escape method. For example, NG, engine failure. When an engine fails, pilots are trained to bring the plane to a safe landing, either by returning to an airport or by performing an emergency landing. Jumping out of a plane with a parachute would not be a practical solution because the plane may still be flying safely under pilot control. Turbulence. Parachuting during extreme turbulence is dangerous because the violent air movements could affect the ability to deploy a parachute properly or control one's descent. Cabin depressurization. In these cases, the plane must descend rapidly to an altitude where passengers can breathe normally, usually below 10,000 feet. Once the plane reaches a safer altitude, there's generally no need for parachuting. In many cases, staying on the plane is safer than attempting to jump out, especially when pilots have a chance to land the aircraft. Equipping every passenger with a parachute would present numerous practical and logistical challenges. A typical commercial airplane can carry anywhere from 100 to 500 passengers, and storing enough parachutes for everyone would require significant space. 
parachutes are bulky and would take up valuable room in the already tight confines of the cabin, cutting down on the number of passengers or luggage a plane could carry. Furthermore, the cost of providing and maintaining parachutes would be high. Airlines would have to invest in high-quality parachutes, regularly inspect and service them, and train cabin crew to manage the distribution and use of parachutes during an emergency. This would likely result in higher ticket prices and increased operational costs for airlines. Parachuting requires ideal conditions. For a parachute jump to be safe and effective, the conditions must be ideal. Low altitude is crucial. Jumping from a commercial airplane would only be possible at lower altitudes, typically below 10,000 feet. Above this, the factors of hypoxia, freezing temperatures, and decompression become major concerns. At high altitudes, parachuting is virtually impossible without specialized equipment. And a stable environment is also necessary. Parachuting requires a relatively stable environment. Turbulence, high winds, and bad weather can make deploying and controlling a parachute dangerous. Pilots flying commercial airplanes try to avoid storms and turbulence, but emergency conditions often involve unpredictable weather. So, given that emergencies can occur without ideal conditions, the opportunity for parachuting safely is rare. Safer alternatives for emergency situations. Commercial aviation has developed much safer and more reliable alternatives for handling emergencies than providing passengers with parachutes. Airplanes are designed with multiple redundant systems to ensure they can continue flying even when a component fails. For example, multiple engines. Most commercial airplanes have at least two engines and they are capable of flying safely with one engine inoperative. Pilot training is also key. Pilots are highly trained to handle a wide range of emergencies, including engine failure, severe weather, and other technical problems. They are trained to prioritize passenger safety and can execute emergency landings when necessary. Safety features are another layer of protection. Aircraft are equipped with advanced technology like autopilot, weather radar, and communication systems that help them avoid dangerous situations and land safely. Additionally, cabin safety measures like oxygen masks and life vests are provided to deal with specific emergencies like cabin depressurization or water landings. Parachutes are used in certain aviation contexts. While parachutes may not be used on commercial airliners, they do play an essential role in other areas of aviation. For instance, military pilots, skydivers, and some smaller aircraft pilots do use parachutes, especially when they are flying at lower altitudes or engaging in high-risk activities. Ejection seats in military fighter jets allow pilots to escape in emergencies, and they are designed for high-stress situations, unlike the cruising altitude of commercial flights. In some cases, light private aircraft may be equipped with emergency parachutes that can be deployed to slow the descent of the entire plane. However, these systems are designed for much smaller planes flying at lower altitudes and lower speeds and are not suitable for large commercial jets. While the concept of having parachutes on commercial airplanes may sound logical, the practical and safety challenges make it an unfeasible option. The extreme speeds, altitudes, and environmental conditions at which commercial planes fly, combined with the lack of passenger training, make parachuting a dangerous and impractical solution. Instead, the aviation industry has focused on enhancing aircraft safety features, pilot training, and emergency response protocols to ensure that passengers are protected during in-flight emergencies. By staying on board and trusting in the crew and the airplane's safety systems, passengers are in a much better position to survive than if they attempted to parachute out of a commercial airliner.